outside the T-Mobile Arena has become a popular spot. There's entertainment, there's, of course, art, also many restaurants there. And John Castellmedes, writer for the Review Journal column, Cats, is here to talk about the latest addition to that because we knew it wasn't quite finished. There's still the Park Theater. Mm -hmm. And yes. they have announced already a couple headliners. Big news this week. Yep, we have uh, a one-off headliner, a, a, almost like a co-headlining bill with Stevie Nicks and the Pretenders. Mm -hmm. On December 17th, Stevie Nicks is, is, uh, is the main act, and the Pretenders are going to be opening for her. And then Bruno Mars is coming back December 30th and 31st, and then uh, after that will be back uh, in March and, uh, on the 11th and 12th. So. Yeah, it was a big deal. And it he is. released this video this week, and he has a lot of Vegas highlights in it. So do you think it's in correlation with that? Him or? like his Vegas, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Bruno, and we like him a lot, too. He was a, a, an Elvis impressionist at a very young age, four or five years old, <laughs> in the honeymoon in Vegas. And I saw him on New Year's Eve in 2013 to 2000, in, uh, the New Year's Eve in 2013 at the Cosmopolitan at the Chelsea. And about a minute before midnight, he called for a request, and the request from the audience that he picked was "Jailhouse Rock" by Elvis, uh, and he played it. Did and he? The place came apart. Oh, he wow. is the. I'm my opinion. He's the gold standard for live acts right now. The top guy out there. He is amazing. Good pickup for the park. Yeah, it Very is good. because he did something similar at the Cosmo, like you were yeah. saying. He did mm -hmm. a couple days, and he came back again and did. Yeah, well. he did a series of eight to ten dates, I think, and it, it, co it coincided with his appearance at the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he came in in December, and then he was on the Super Bowl, and he came back in March, so that it did great, oh, great business. That's great. He's not cheap, but he's worth it. Yeah, he's definitely yeah. worth it. How, how much does the whole, uh, how much does the Park Theater hold? 5,300 is its listed capacity, and it's okay. variable. You can do other things in there, but it's going to have a, 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 a very appealing video si system up there behind the stage, much like the, what the Coliseum offers, okay. uh, high tech, and uh, it's going to be a party zone. And I'm expecting some some other announcements in, in the Bruno Mars stratosphere uh, mm. soon. Okay, yeah. that should be good. All right, another show uh, that is loved by so many, and especially Las Vegas, and just celebrated eight years. Donnie and Marie, and they have a big announcement mm -hmm. this week that they're extending. Finally, yeah, they made it official. They've been uh, kind of dancing around this issue a little bit. And Donnie actually did say at one point that they were coming back, but it formally was yesterday that they announced they're going to be here through the end of November in 2017 for what was a six-week engagement in September of 2008. Wow. And they have been here ever since. So flying in the face of a lot of closings we've had here, these guys uh, continue to do great business at the, at the a showroom name for them at the Flamingo. They do, and you know, if, on social media, they're so popular. If you mention them, everyone writes back. They have such a fan base mm -hmm. all over they the They really world. do still, yeah, in all facets. Every time you say anything about them, it, it, it blows up, and that's to their credit. And Donnie's doing a, a Nevada a Children's Cancer Foundation run at uh, Town Square this weekend, uh, uh, Saturday morning, early right. at 730. Uh, Danny Gans started that. Oh. He picked it up for Danny. Right, right. Okay, yes. that'll be good. Okay, we've got about uh, 30 seconds, but I want to talk a little bit about two shows that are closing, too. Some got more bad news this week. Mm -hmm. One very popular, I love Gordy Brown. He's yes. so great. He's at the Golden Nugget. He's closing mm -hmm. his show and you found that out. After seven years, he uh, we were in contact over the weekend. November 27th is his out date. Mm -hmm. There are already producers interested in Gordy picking him Good. up already and he will find a home. He's a great impressionist. Yeah, he does. <laughs> nobody really does what Gordy does. He's, no. he's incredible. And then they also announced that Rock of Ages is closing and that'll be yep. January 1st? January 1st, 1st uh, 2017, New Year's Day. And uh, that had uh, opened in 2000, late 2012 at the Venetian, moved in January over to the Rio, they were hoping to generate a club vibe there. It didn't quite work out, didn't pencil out. Great yeah. cast, great live band. Uh, you know, yeah. not, that's a business call. It was a yep. good, good show, though. Mm -hmm. All right, you can check out Cat's column in the Review Journal anytime, every day of the week, also online, and we'll be back <laughs> right after this.